What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be installing some super bumps, a bump stops onto the front of my Tacoma. As you guys already know, I do have bump stops on the rear, which are from Timberin. But for today's video, we're gonna be installing super bumps for the front. I got these on TacomaBeast.com. So if you guys do wanna go ahead and get yours, make sure to check out the description box below. I'll make sure to link them there. It's gonna be super simple and it comes with a tool inside to install these. Let's get it. So as always, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what comes inside the package. And then I'm gonna show you what tools you're gonna need Need. so looking right over here this isn't needed but it is going to help you out so you guys can get some wd-40 or some penetrant to help remove bolts that'll make the job a lot easier especially if you had your tacoma for a lot longer if you guys have a newer tacoma it'll it should be a lot easier another thing you can get is like a pipe wrench like this it'll help you out on removing it you guys will see why when we get to the install but this will actually help you out unless you're like super strong like the hulk or you just look like steve so next thing here is of course what came in inside the package so these are going to be your super bumps bump stops that came from tacomabeast.com you're going to get two of these bad boys which is of course for the driver's side and passenger side it doesn't matter which way they go because they're identical it also came with two little screws here which are going to fit right about in there just like that super simple nothing hard about it and it also comes with the tool provided to do this installation another thing you guys can get is some loctite to kind of help you out so that way these things don't ever fall off so that's up to you guys of course and I did want to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison. Here is your guys' side-by-side -side comparison. So this one is the one that I took off the Tacoma. This is your factory bump stop that comes with it, of course. So as you can tell, the big size difference is a lot bigger. And even the circumference, as you can tell right there, that one's a lot bigger. So you already know, the bigger the size, the better it is. So check that out, you guys. Hell yeah. So this is going to, of course, be installed on the truck. It's going to help us out uh, when, of course, we hit big bumps and it just kind of bottoms out. And of course, it should help me out on this. So check this out, you guys. If it doesn't, it's fine. It's still gonna be a plus for me. But what I mainly got them for is, as you could tell, I did get bigger tires. So when I do bottom out, it, the tire actually gets thrown all the way inside of here. And it's a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. Adding this bad boy right here should help us out in uh, that way it won't hit it as hard up here uh, when it bottoms out, of course. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and now get into the installation process. As you can tell, we are out in the wild, so you can literally do this anywhere and it only takes a couple of minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the driver's side. And looking right here, you're gonna notice your bump stop. This is the bump stop that is closest to the cab. All you gotta do is just turn it like that just in case yours isn't uh, yours is a little bit too tight and you can't do it by hand, that's why I was saying to go ahead and get some WD-40 or just some type of lubricant that you can uh, put in there. If not, you can also use a pipe wrench like this, get it in there and just unloosen it. Just kind of unscrew, unscrew and just like that. And then it should release it. Then you should be able to do it by hand and then it should just come off just like that. All right, you guys, so that was the factory bump stop. So that can go to the trash now. Let's go to now install our brand new one. So right here, it is gonna be a little bit difficult. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If you guys take off the tire and put the truck on a lift, it'll make your life a lot easier. If not, um, go ahead and put your screw right through. You wanna make sure it's poked out like this. Like I said, if you guys do have some Loctite, this is probably the point, the time to go ahead and put some Loctite on there. And then this is where it gets a little bit difficult. You guys will see why. Look guys, so easy, you can do it out in the trail. <laughs> Awful. Sorry. First, whatever you did on this side, you do it on the opposite side. But let me go ahead and show you guys because they're installed now. So looking right here, as you can tell, there they are. So they're significantly larger than, of course, the stock ones like I was showing you guys in the beginning of the video. So this should help us out when we go ahead and bottom out. It shouldn't be as harsh. And it should also help me out without uh, bringing the whole tire in, just like you can tell here. Of course, it probably still is going to hit it, but it won't hit it as hard if that makes sense. So I can't wait to test these bad boys out. If you guys want to get them, they're in the description box below. And let's get it.
that chop. We need that chop. So now that we tested it, we showed you guys exactly how to install it. As you can tell, I don't know if you guys noticed it on camera, it absorbs the bumps a lot better. So now it doesn't give that harsh bottom out, it just kind of eases into it. I hope you guys enjoyed those clips and I hope you guys enjoyed the installation video. Make sure to check out the description box below if you guys want to get it. If you guys do end up wanting to purchase it, make sure to check out the description box below because I've linked it there. So if you guys did like today's video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah. Four. <coughs> Super easy. Keep all this Make in. Huh? Keep all this in. I, I'm fat. No, it's good. We've been running around all this, guys. It's not easy. All that over back there. If you guys ever been here, you guys know. <laughs> We were in the shop. I could have gone my electric ratchet in there already. <laughs> Would have been hey, fine. Hey, but it's okay because this is a proof of concept right here, right? Exactly. That's the point. So say you break one in the trail, you can be like, ah, fuck it, let's throw another one in there, huh? Yeah. Super simple. And can you can see me? Yeah, you're a little dark though. Fuck. Hey Steve, I really need a spotter right now. I know you got those brand new Midland radios. Aren't those able to connect to my radio? Oh yeah, dude, I'm gonna be in the car to spot you. I can do it from the safety of the side. All right, Jesse, I got you. Go straight, go a hair passenger just a little bit. All right, sir, you are out. Hell yeah, I'm so happy we have these Midlands now. Oh yeah, now we don't even have to yell or anything like that. We can just talk, you don't have to be in your car or nothing. Hell yeah. Please feel free to subscribe